Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to compare the iQOO 9 SE versus iQOO 7 device. And this is on the most requested video in my channel. Yes friends, in the iQOO 9 series, uh, after release, on the after announcement of the price and everything, a lot of users are actually interested in the iQOO 9 SE device. If you are one of those users, let me know in the comment section below, are you interested in this phone or not? In case if I get more number of comments and response on the iQOO 9 SE, definitely I'll try to buy this device as soon as possible after in the first sale. Let me know in the comment section below friends, just type that uh, why you are interested and are you interested in the iQOO 9 SE or not. So let's get started friends without wasting any kind of time. So first thing is that the price makes a lot of difference. That is what I did mention in the beginning before the release of this phone as well. And finally, iQOO did figure out the price. It's very, very good deal friends. 30,990, you can actually get the iQOO 9 SE device. So if you use the ICIC credit card and uh, you can clearly see 30,990 is the price. If you ask me, definitely that's a very, very good deal for the iQOO 9 SE, but let's see the price of the iQOO 7 device at this moment. Right now it's about 28,990 as you can see, 28,990. If you try to use the 8GB and 250GB variant, you can actually get very uh, good discount as well. 3,000 rupees extra coupon discount you're getting on the 250GB variant and 28,990. So, iQOO 7 has got pretty good deals as well before 24,000, 23,000. 23, so, all well, friends, regarding the price, each has its own advantages. So, let's move to the next topic, which is a processor, because the price will keep on changing. So, there's nothing much point in discussing more time about the price. So, in terms of the processor, yes. So, iQOO 9 SE has got pretty good uh, upgrade in terms of the Snapdragon 888 processor. Not only that, there is LPDDR5 RAM type. In iQOO 7, there is LPDDR4X RAM type which the iQOO did not even officially announce, but in the Chinese variant of the iQOO, it has got LPDDR4X RAM type. That's something called slightly upgrade when compared with the iQOO 7 device. That's not a huge difference, just a little bit. But enhanced LPDDR5 and enhanced 3.1 RAM you can actually get in this moment. Using the intelligent display chip is also present in, this dis in the iQOO 7 device. So there's nothing much difference. So if you take a look at the iQOO 7's live event, they did not even mention anything about the RAM type, like they did not, yes, completely they avoided men mentioning about LPDDR4X RAM type on anything. So you can take a look at the enhanced UFS storage, same phone has got UFS storage enhanced performance as well. External rank capabilities also, Snapdragon 870, which will be having the intelligent display chip. Definitely friends, in the performance wise, slight advantage for the iQOO 9 SE device and battery runs mobile game 90 FPS also may be supporting because iQOO 7 Legend also got 90 FPS. So that's something you should know about the device. And regarding the display, display wise, both phones are completely similar friends, iQOO 9 SE and iQOO 7 device, there's not a huge difference between these two phones anyway, same specifications, nothing much huge difference, but there is chance of like another thing which is a green tint issue because iQOO 7 has got green tint, but with the latest update, it got a little bit kind of fixed, nothing much major complaints, hopefully this iQOO 9 SE should not have any kind of green tint problems. That's something you should definitely understand about the iQOO 9 SE. So, but overall display wise, it's pretty same. But performance wise, iQOO 9 SE has got pretty good advantage. Snapdragon triple light, battery runs mobile game 90 FPS and slightly better cooling system and which I do uh, measure in my testing. So let me know in the comments, are you interested? I'll definitely buy the device. And next thing is about the battery backup. Like battery backup slightly got improved. Like I mean, iQOO 7 has got 4,400 mAh battery capacity. iQOO 9 SE 4,500. That's not a huge difference, I would say. So this little bit difference is there. But I need to test in the real life scenario using Snapdragon 888 processor. Is it power efficient or is it kind of heating so much or there's a huge battery running is happening or not? Those things I need to test in the real life scenario under my testing. Only then I can actually figure out. Don't worry friends, very soon I'll try to do the comparison videos between these two phones. And regarding the camera wise, uh, both phones are having same, very kind of similar uh, specifications regarding the camera, except this third camera, which is a mono camera. This used to be the depth sensor, which is a portrait sensor in the iQOO 7 device. Apart from that, everything is kind of pretty similar. Not a huge difference you're gonna find out regarding the camera between these both phones. And dual studio speaker setup and 4D game vibration, linear motor. It's pretty similar friends, nothing much huge difference you got in the 4D vibrations, but I'll definitely test it once I get the mobile phone. I did like this iQOO 7's 4D vibrations. And another advantage, the iQOO 9 SE has got regarding the 5G bands. 8 5G bands, finally the iQOO decided to increase the 8 5G bands in India. So we got 8 5G bands in the iQOO 9 SE, which will be coming out with the out of the box Android 12. 
Yes, friends, Android 12, that's a very, very good advantage for the iQOO 9 series, which will be out of the box Android 12. So these are the few advantages over iQOO 7 device. First, more 5G bands. Next, Android 12 out of the box. So that should be pretty good without any kind of issues and uh, bugs and all the problems. So that's another advantage. And next thing is about the slightly better performance and battery guns mobile game 90 FPS and price you are getting for 31,000 rupees slightly above this iQOO 7 device maybe 3 to 4,000 uh, slightly more but you can actually get the exchange offer as well 3,000 rupees exchange offer extra you are getting that's also available for the first sale in case if you are interested to buy it. So apart from this one I did not find any kind of major differences as I said the major differences are Android 12 and more 5G bands these two things are pretty major in the iQOO 9 SE and next Snapdragon 88 processor value on small game 90 FPS out of the box all these things you should definitely know about the iQOO 9 SE device that's it friends thank you for watching this a quick comparison between these both phones and the final comparison is that iQOO 7 is also a monster and iQOO 9 SE is also a monster so until and unless I test the both phones side by side, we'll be able to not know about the battery life and the eating issues. So make sure friends, in case you plan to buy this phone, just wait for my reviews. I'll definitely uh, plan to buy this device as soon as possible. So this is a complete conclusion about this device. So display wise, camera wise, not major difference. Battery backup and charging wise also not major difference. So major difference can be there in the more 5G bands, Android 12 and performance. These three things are major differences between these both phones and the price also another thing so this is friends thank you for watching and stay tuned for more updates in case if you have other questions let me know in the conversation below meanwhile signing off until then bye